Uh, welcome to Worldwide Corals. My name is Lou Shibo, and I want to give you guys a glimpse of our 900 gallon tank. This is a lot of where our aquaculture starts out of our main display. If you look behind me here, that rack of corals is kind of how this whole tank started. We started with a rack of frags that were quarantined over months, dipped and dipped and dipped before we introduced them to our system. Added to a rack, then eventually epoxied and glued into the tank. As you see as you walk through here and see some of the colonies now, I mean, essentially less than two years has been grown in fully. A large number of SPS corals in here. We have a lot of Zavavia, Australian Nacans. We have a lot of zoanthids, actually. We've been fragging already out of there. Nice chunks of zoanthids. Bellapora. Uh, we have a rock samanti. We have bounce mushrooms in here. We have human mushrooms in here. We have a rock of Florida recordia, which is unusual up on the left-hand side here. Um, this is also home of the world-famous, well, soon to be world-famous, white chocolate tang. Uh, white chocolate lives in this tank, as well as some other odd uh, fish like Hyperscopus. So overall, the tank is 12 foot long, 4 feet deep, and 31 inches tall. So you need to have long arms to get in here, or have a really good ladder, ladder or a good friend with strong shoulders so you can stand on them. <laughs> we have a flow provider by Panta Ray, Hydro Wizards, a fantastic powerhead out of Germany. Uh, very unique in their design and their flow pattern, the laminar flow, which um, gives the corals the best, best better getting total flow around the coral. So essentially, you know, aquaculture is our main thing, sustaining reefs, not taking much from the wild and be able to provide a culture piece. So our pieces start here. As I was saying earlier, we start from our own frag. We grow them up. Once they grow up, we actually take a culture piece off, add it to our farm back there. And from there, we can kind of grow, grow you know, cultures or, or for generations to come, you know. So you, know, so you have second, third, or fourth, fifth generations uh, aquaculture in your tank, which is great because it also gives you a chance of sustainability and also it's more apt to survive in your tank overall. Another huge plus about aquaculture is that versus mariculture or stuff from the wild, they're more apt to survive in our tanks, which I mean they're used to the tank conditions, the optimal conditions that you don't always find in the ocean, which is uh, great flow, great lighting, great water conditions. You know, you don't have the challenge of the predators coming after you, so corals are less likely to be affected by external forces when you're inside of a controlled environment, such as an aquarium or a raceway. Once again, my name is Lou Shiva with Worldwide Corals. You can check us out online at worldwidecorals.com. We also have weekly eBay auctions. I want to thank Richard and the Aficionado channel for stopping by today and spending some time with us. Rock on, keep doing what you're doing, guys.